Okay, so in today's math lesson, what we're doing here is we're taking a look at surface area and volume uh, within real-world situations. So we're reading a situation, we're figuring out whether that uh, we have to find a surface area or a volume, uh, that kind of thing. And we're taking a look at the questions and specific words to let us know. For example, we have Dante, and he's, uh, he built a wooden box, a uh, cubic toy box for his son, which is nice. So each side of the box measures two feet. All right, so maybe on the side here, I just kind of draw myself a little diagram. So here's my length, my width, and my height, and everything is two feet. So there they are, two feet for everything, okay? And that means it's a cube. And the first question states, how many square feet of wood will he use to build the box? Now, if you're building the box, you're actually, you actually need material uh, to use, so using wood, and if the box is made of wood, we're looking at a surface area here because the outside of the box is what is made of wood, and so we need to find a surface area. I need to find the area of all six sides of this particular box. So, my surface area. Now remember, the surface area of a cube has six sides, and all six sides are equal, uh, which means the area is all identical. Now, if you're going to find the area of a box, a cube more specifically, Everything is called a side, so all of my dimensions are S for side, and they're all the same. So if I need to find the area of, let's say, this guy right here, the front of this cube, or this box, this is going to be a 2 times 2 situation, and the area of that particular square is going to be 4 feet squared, or 4 square feet. So I'm going to need to take my side and multiply it by a side. Now the reason why I'm multiplying this by 6 again is because there are six sides that are identical. So this is going to give me the area of one of those sides, of one side, or a face, as we call them, okay? So this was going to be two times two, which gives me four. And since there are six such faces, or sides, my surface area is then going to be 24 feet squared. So in order to create that box, of 2 by 2 by 2, you're going to need 24 square feet of material to do it, okay? Makes sense? But then the second part of this states, well, how many cubic feet of toys can actually get in this box? Well, now we're talking about volume. How much space is inside? So, the volume of a cube, or any prism for that matter that's rectangular by, in nature, is going to take the three dimensions and multiply them, length times width times height. But in this case, once again, since it's a cube, all the sides are the same distance. So it's side by side, side times side times side. So it could look like this, okay? It could look like this uh, times your height, or it could actually look like s to the third power, which is really side times side times side. And so I fill in my values. I have 2 times 2 times 2 or 2 to the third power, right? So I can do that, 2 to the third power, just like that. 2 times 2 gives me 4, 4 two times 2 gives me 8. And since it's volume, I need to put a 3 there because it's cubic feet, okay? How many cubes fit in that box? 8 cubes. So if the kid had, a, had 8 toys and each toy was 1 cubic foot, they would fit perfectly inside, okay? So that's the deal with that. And then the questions go on to become a little more complicated. In this one here, number two, we have a company that manufactures gift boxes. They want to know how many different sized boxes uh, that have a volume of 50 cubic centimeters it can make. Now, once again, understanding that this is going to be some variety of rectangular prism, okay, because it is a box. And we need cu uh, 50 cubic centimeters to be its volume. So its volume needs to be 50 cubic centimeters, which means if I have a length, a width, and a height, and my formula is length times width times height, I need three values that will multiply to get me 50. So 50 is the volume. I need to know what are the possibilities. What values can I multiply? to get me 50. Well, I can multiply 1 times 1 times 50. Okay, so I could have a length of 1, a length of 1, a width of 1, and a height of 50. Well, that's one way to get 50. 
Another way to get 50 is to do a 1 times 2 times 25. <clears throat> Excuse me, like that. That'll get me a product of 50. Uh, I can also, uh, let's say I do a 1, once again, times 5, and I multiply that by 10. How's that? That'll get me 50. And let's do one more. How about we do a 2 times 5 times 5 again. That'll also get me 50. Now what I want here, it asks, let's see, it says list all the possible uh, dimensions for the box. There they are. Okay, so I have my lengths. Okay, I have my widths. Okay, and I have my heights. There they are. A little sloppy, sorry. And then which possible, uh, which possibility requires the least amount of material to make? Now I need surface area from all these guys, which means I need to run four different surface area situations. But I'm just going to run one of these guys. Uh, let's run this guy here. So my surface area is going to be, uh, let's take two, my two bases, right, which are two lengths times widths, right, plus, uh, let's take my front and my back, okay, my front and my back, which is a length times a height. But I have two of them, length times the height. Uh-oh, getting a little messy, sorry. And now I need my left side and my right side. So I need this guy and this guy, which is a width times height. Okay, but two of them. There they are. So now I just plug things in. So my surface area is going to be my length times the width, and that's a 1 times 1, 1 times 1, plus my length times my height, my length times my height, which is 1 times 50, plus 2 times my width times my height, which is also 1 times 50, okay? Like that. And then I solve. So 1 times 1 equals 1, times 2 equals 2, and 1 times 50 equals 50, times 2 is 100, plus uh, 1 times 50, was, which is also 50, times 2 is also 100. So my surface area for that guy is going to be 202, and the units is centimeters, and it's squared. Now I need to do that for each of these guys. This guy, this guy, this guy, and this guy. And if I want to use the least amount of material, I'm looking for the smallest surface area. Okay? And then the final question, that takes care of this guy. Uh, which box would you recommend the company to use and why? Well, I'd probably recommend for a company to use the one that holds the most so you can get the most out of that uh, particular box. So. Uh, but they're all, they all have a, variety, uh, a volume of 50, so they all hold the same amount. So I suppose I'm going to go with the surface area that has the smallest amount because you're not going to use as much material. Perhaps that's the deal. I'm not sure, but I guess that's more of an opinion question if you can justify it. Okay? That's all, folks. Thanks so much. Take care. Bye-bye.